Welcome to this edition of Planet Earth Weekly News. The article I'm gonna read today is dated April 20, 2011. The link is below the video as I'm gonna start reading. The topic says Black plants could grow on exoplanet with two suns. Just read the title Black plants could grow on exoplanet with two suns by BBC News okay I'm gonna start plant on distant hospitable planets could have developed black foliage and flowers to survive according to a new study flora that will appear black or green to human eyes could have evolved on planets orbiting dim red dwarf stars according to unpublished research that is being presented at the National Astronomy astronomy meeting in Janduno Wells. This will enable plants to absorb more light to photosynthesis using their star's light to convert carbon dioxide into organic compounds. Jack O'Malley James, a PhD student and an astrobiologist at San Andreas University, focused on multiple star systems thought to be common throughout the universe. He used models for star systems with two or three stars from various combinations of sun-like and red dwarf stars. He then added planets to these models orbiting around one or more of the stars. The research presumes first that plant life similar to that on Earth could evolve on an exoplanet in the habitable sun around each star which is not a given, but the odds of which are difficult to estimate. The idea then is that photosynthesis there will resume, resemble that seen on our own planet, whereby plants use energy from the sun to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and organic compounds such as sugars flora on those planets will have to adapt to very different light conditions in order to photosynthesis. If a planet were found in a system with two or more stars, there will potentially be multiple sources of energy available to drive photosynthesis, said O'Malley James. The temperature of a star determines if color, its color and hence the color of light used for photosynthesis, depending on the colors of their starlight, plants will evolve very differently. If a planet, if a planet-like source comes primarily from a red dwarf, then O'Malley James believes any possible plant life could be black or green. But there are other outcomes which are more exotic still. One possible scenario is a hospitable planet that receives light from both a red dwarf and a more distant sun like a star. This could lead to two tires of plant life populating the same planet, plants using light from the sun like star, which may be brighter in color, and a second darker array of plants using light from the red dwarf. Plants with dim red dwarf suns, for example, may appear black to our eyes, absorbing across the entire visible wavelength range in order to use as much of the available light as possible, said Mr. O'Malley James. They may also be able to use infrared or ultraviolet radiation to drive photosynthesis for planets orbiting two stars like our own harmful radiation from intense stellar flare could lead to plants that develop their own UV blocking sunscreen he said so this is the report the interesting things in this report and the last video I posted on YouTube my channel about the another Earth trailer also, you look in YouTube for melancholia, you will see what I'm talking about. There are a lot, a lot of uh, media talk about red dwarf stars in the last six months, eight months. And if you read 
the article and you uh, go down to this paragraph you see that they say this plant with dim red brass zones for example may appear black to all eyes absorbing across the entire visible wavelength range in order to use as much of the available light as possible say Mr. O'Malley James they may also be able to use infrared or ultraviolet radiation to drive photosynthesis for planets or biting to start like our own do you read that? for planets orbiting two star like our own this uh, I think this uh, article is talking about us about the earth uh, what may should may happen to the plants if the red dwarf appear so movies melancholia another uh, another earth that you see in my, pl in my channel this report uh, are very similar and that they are telling us something not directly but indirectly so read the article for yourself analyze it check the videos of the trailers and get a decision by your own uh, anyone can think the way they want that's my my analysis and analyze this this way they are sending us a message not directly but indirectly thank you have a good night bye people